you need to put it like shine the mirror in their face and realize how much of an idiot they're being like i'm not an aggressive salesperson i'm a factual salesperson right so i will if, like if you want to lie to yourself and say you don't have the time to buy this course that's gonna help you grow your business, but instead you're spending it going on webinars with free information, then I'll tell you, you clearly do have the time and you don't actually value your time because if you did value your time, then you would buy, a, you'd hire a mentor and you would cut down all the bullshit because it actually minimizes the time to get you success. So if I gave you an extra $2,000 a week, and you could pay someone to do the shit that actually is causing you not to have time, then would you have more time? Yeah, yeah. I think, I think we focus on one thing at a time, right? I think right now we focus on, okay, how do we create a really easy system to get clients into the barbershop, clients into the salon at self-liquidating, so that means like, so it doesn't cost us anything to market, and then we can case study this, and then next month we can launch it, how to get 50 clients, our goal would be get 50 clients over the next 30 days, and then next month we case study it to the barbershop, so it's like how to get 50 clients into your barbershop or salon in 30 days, and you just, and then after we do that the next month, you know, essentially we have those two processes in place, then we come back and we spin back around and it's like, okay, how can we use some other things? Like the month three would be like, how to use referral gift cards, how to increase the uh, average transaction. So how do we add in product sales and things like that? I think that's the third month we sort of start to focus on that stuff, mate. Oh, that's awesome. Uh, that sounds good. To sell it, it's not hard, man. Like you could get anyone pushing it, you can build a ClickFunnels page again, integrate that with uh, Stripe, which they can pay online. Um, 100%, oh, I can see it, it'll be amazing. No worries. All right. Oh, man, thanks for your time, Thorson, I'm looking forward to it. No worries, mate, have a great day. <laughs> um, so what's happening? You're looking to sell the, the gym, right? Yeah, um, I've been sort of humming and hawing about it because I just, um, so passionate about it. So, like, like we talked about, like, huh? like I'm, always happy to like not all gyms buy but it's just if it's the right one i, I really like the setup that i saw yeah. so what how about we do this right like i'll come down on saturday um yeah. i'll come and have a look at it like and then mean you can have a bit of a chat i guess just gotta touch base with live obviously and make sure that you know you can be there are you going to be there as well or can you be there yeah yeah for yep. sure yeah yeah I'll, we're actually we'll be closed for the rest of the week anyway so it's perfect come in there'll be no one around and cool. just have, a, have a good look and a good talk and whatever you yeah. need to do. I mean you can have a bit of a chat see like like a, a timeline kind of thing I can yep. sort of then um, yep. I, I'm 100% yeah. want to tell you like okay this is how, what it would be worth to us um, yep. and then it, you know it's just like yes or no kind of thing and um, just because you're in a tight spot doesn't mean that I'm gonna screw someone over either like for us yep. it's, it's like I'm, I live by integrity right so yep. um, it would be giving you exactly what it would be worth for me to give it to you, and that's the price I'll give it to you, okay? Oh, cheers. Yep, no, that's all right. I'll, um, yeah, I'll touch base with you tomorrow, and then yeah, I'll see you at 12 on Saturday. Ah, uh, fantastic. You have a great day, hon. Yeah, all right. Thanks, Travis. All appreciate right. it. Bye. Okay, cheers. Bye. 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 Bye.
and then we have our level three, which is strength and hypertrophy. So, you know, essentially for that, we periodize their, their nutrition and their training, and they get hypertrophy blocks and strength blocks. So yep. like, so you put the rig down this side, move the turf, so then the turf, like, then like that's transformation training, because then you can have another two racks, bays on it. That goes there. Two more bays on the rig, turf splits it, and then 28 days, semi-private. So everything fits. I think like you take that bench out from here and you can use this space more. Yeah. And put it like in there. Cool. Awesome brother. Easy man. Talk later. See you mate. I think uh, every every decision comes from the gut, right? Like from hiring staff to starting a business to um, you know, acquiring a business, right? Uh, and so, you know, why, you know, I got asked this week, you know, to do a video on, you know, why RBT started and um, why we start any business, really, and, you know, I think that's the biggest thing is that, you know, as Simon Sinek says, like, it starts with why. It's like, you know, why did you want to do it? And well, RBT was like, I wanted to, I was a personal trainer, um, I was changing 40 people's lives. I had a capacity to, of only changing 40 people's lives, and I was like, I want to change more lives than this. Like I, I was, I'm put here on this earth to change more than fucking 40 people's lives at a time. So I was like, fuck, I, I need to open RBT. And I saw people coming into, you know, the Fitness First I was working at, you know, over the last, worked at 15 Fitness First and a couple of clubs overseas. And, um, you know, people just go in, they're a number. Um, they just don't get results. The whole reason why they wanted to join up was for happiness and confidence and change their body and all that sort of stuff and they're just going through like Groundhog Day, like not getting anywhere. So I was like, fuck, I want to try and start something where people felt like they are getting changed, that we can give them the confidence, we can give them the happiness, we can change their body, you know, we can have the connection with them, you know, we can have a community that feel like they're a part of someone, not just like, just doing it by themselves, because obviously, you know, when you do it together, you can celebrate the wins, you know, and we can push through the losses, right, so that's why we started RBT, to, to you know, change more lives than I could change, and I wanted to change at the start, it was 216 lives, right, and that's when RBT started, and obviously that vision has grown, and you know, now we want to change 10,000 lives a year. Like, that's, that's the vision. Like, that's why RBT. Like, we want to say, RBT changed my life because 10,000 people a year. I'm like, well, okay, what do we need to do that? Well, we need 40 clubs, okay? Like, that's, that's the whole reason why we need 40 clubs because I need to change 10,000 lives a year. And we have this why that just drives us. And it's like, okay, well, you know, why, why did we essentially have build partnerships? And it's like, okay, well, um, one, we want to get to the 40, 40 uh, clubs and change the 10,000 lives faster. And it's like, why some partners and why others? And it's like looking at your gut feeling, this is where it comes from for me, right? Like the whole why. I was like, well, why do you want to do RBT? And if someone said something about fucking money, I would say no. And I get asked weekly about starting an RBT with someone. Like, oh, I want to make some money. Yeah, yeah. I was like, fuck off. Like, I, I, it's not, if you want to make money, it's not why. It's like, I want to change lives. I want to be a part of something that, you know, is about changing Australia, changing the world, making people healthier, making people happier, part of the community. I want to, I, I want to leave an imprint and a legacy with you, with RBT. It's like, fuck, okay, come on board, right? And that's the same as hiring, to, uh, hiring trainers, right? Hiring the coaches. It's like, okay. You can tell, it's like a gut feeling when we hire people as well, right? I don't care about people's fucking education. I don't care how many certificates you did. I don't care about anything, right? Like someone comes in, you can see if it's about them, it's about their ego, it's about their significance, right? And it's like, you're not gonna fit for RBT, right? I don't care if you have a million qualifications. I can, it's like, why, why'd you become a trainer? It's like, why, why do you wanna do this? And if you wanna, because you wanna contribute, you wanna grow, and you wanna actually change lives, and you don't care if you got paid on a Saturday morning, you'd still be there. Like, for sure, we're gonna pay you to be there, but like, if this is your passion and your purpose, fuck, I don't care about your education. Come on in, right? Because we can give you all the education in the world, but I can't give you passion, right? And that's where that gut feeling comes in, right? And it's the same as when you walk into a club, like, you know, looking at acquiring different clubs at the moment. You can walk in there and it's just like, decisions, they sometimes need to be made logically, right? 
but um, okay, I'm not going to open up a gym in, when there's no one around it, but you can walk in and it's like, oh, this place has a feel. I can feel this can be an RBT. And when you feel something, if you're weighing up between two clubs, the one that feels better is the one you go with because like, that's, that's, that's the driver, your heart. The heart is the driver behind business. If you don't have the heart, it's all based on logical fucking things. When it gets tough, logically, shut your fucking business down. But when you live with the gut, when you live with um, your heart and makes decisions from the heart, you push harder, you work harder, you make that shit fucking work, even when accountants said you should have shut it down, right? We should have shut down RBT like 73 times to do this date. But because we live by our gut and because we trust our heart, we sometimes logically don't make the right decisions, but we make the right decisions for the company because we know what our why is. And I think that's the biggest thing you have to understand with business is understand your why and understand you make decisions from the heart first and then from the fucking head, not the other way around. That's, uh, that's business.